Boeing just took $20 billion in 10 years to improve the efficiency of their planes by 10%. That's pretty lame. I have a design in mind for a vertical liftoff supersonic jet that would be a really big improvement. I'm reasonably optimistic about the future, especially the future of the United States, for the century, at least. There have only been about a half dozen genuinely important events in the four billion year saga of life on Earth. Single-celled life, multi-celled life, differentiation into plants and animals, movement of animals from water to land, and the advent of mammals in consciousness. What most people know but don't realize they know is that the world is almost entirely solar powered already. If the sun wasn't there, we'd be a frozen ice ball at 3 degrees Kelvin, and the sun powers the entire system of precipitation. The whole ecosystem is solar powered. There's nothing. I've bought everything I want. I don't like yachts or anything, you know, I'm not a yacht person, and I've got pretty much the nicest plane I want to have. Mars is the only place in this solar system where it's possible for life to become multiplanetarian. If we could do high-speed rail in California just half a notch above what they've done on the Shanghai Line in China, and if we had a straight path from LA to San Francisco, as well as the Milk Run, at least that would be progress. From an evolutionary standpoint, Human consciousness has not been around very long. A little light just went on after four and a half billion years. How often does that happen? Maybe it is quite rare. Facebook is quite entrenched and has a network effect. It's hard to break into a network once it's formed. In the case of Apple, they did originally do production internally, but then along came unbelievably good outsource manufacturing from companies like Foxconn. We don't have that in the rocket business. There's no Foxconn in the rocket business.